them, let them have it, this man no damage, they panic, wreak havoc, attack it, ball in, all win. No hesitation, the confrontation, we ready, you waiting, anticipating, this ankle breaking. Virgo babies, what's good? All right. Thank you for viewing my channel here. Let me get my lights right. Right? Um, all my newbies, there's a welcome video available for you, babies. Just to understand how I do my intuitive messages. All my returning subscribers, I definitely appreciate you guys. And if you hadn't already, go ahead and hit the like button before you forget. Hit the description box down below and check the notification bell so that you can receive your updates. The services that I provide, my website, Etsy store, and social media uh, handle names are in the description box, um, as well as a brief summary of what this reading is for. So I am doing my Virgo Virgos. This covers you throughout the month of August. So this is the energy that may have passed or may be coming toward you or that you're presently in. If it doesn't resonate with you, check out your sun, moon, and rising sign and the other videos that I have available. Um, this could be your energy or the person that you're dealing with. And like I said, past, present, and future. All right then. So we'll get started just to clear the air, you know, close your eyes. Inhale deeply, right? Stretch those lungs. And then just exhale the things that no longer serve you. Inhale the divine energy of the universe. And exhale all those things that no longer serve you. Inhale the essence of the divine. And exhale. All those things that no longer serve you. Let's go. So Virgo, you guys have been in some kind of conflict, making decisions, um, and either you know hiding the truth or a lot of things about truths, uh, discovering some truths, and possibly dealing with more than one lover, right? Um, when I did my pre-meditation, I didn't see a lot about finances, but I will uh, dig deep into them for you. So we have, we are, this is the overall energy conflicts. It's like conflict or truth or, you know, making a choice in between these two. So now I clarify the five of swords astrologically. It's Uranus and Aquarius. We're in the age of Aquarius, of course, Aquarius, um, Uranus goes direct on the 29th. So that could be a significant date for you guys this month um, for whatever reason. And when I um, when I did a clarifier on what the conflict was, <clears throat> excuse me, I got the five of pentacles, the lovers, the cup, prince or princess, whoever you're dealing with. Um, so that is, so far we have Taurus, Gemini, Pisces, Aquarius, and Saturn, right? This is how they came out, just so that you guys can get a get an idea. So the world star, I'm goofy, I was like, world star. So the world and the star card just shows um, the person that you were dealing with may be a public figure or of some sort, or it could have been like a wish fulfillment, like some type of blessing granted, right, from the universe. Because we have the world um, and the star. Maybe this is somebody who just looked to you as that opportunity. They thought you were, you know, a wish fulfillment or you felt that way about them. Or just something about, you know, the world bringing you guys together. We have the star, so maybe it was divinely guided. Or this person um is like I said, Aquarius, Saturn, and then I have Aquarius, Capricorn, Aquarius, Saturn, um, and the the overall energy for these two cards as well as uh, Libra. So that could be affecting it. A Libra could have affected you guys' relationship. 
Um, but at any rate, this was uh, some type of little flame. I have Mercury and Gemini, so you may have met this person during the Mercury retrograde, or that's when things kind of went south for you guys. And then I have the Five of Pentacles speaking um, as to being left out in the cold. So these are all of the clarifiers that I have for the conflict, right? So let's see here. When it comes to... Oh, Yep. I'm not for the play with y'all. When it comes to the decision, the five of swords like comes right back out. So I'll sit it there, honey, because it wanted to be out again. So we have five and five, which is ten swords. So hopefully, um it I talked too much. Look at that. The ten of wands actually popped out when I mentioned the ten of swords. So um Sun Sagittarius, the Ten of Wands just speaks to being weighed down and kind of packing your shit and moving on. Or maybe this is what that person did. That was the ultimate decision in this situation. Yeah, I have um, Five of Cups. So somebody you feel like you may have missed an opportunity with kind of went on about their way um, after overcoming some kind of... I have the Leo card here, the Strength card. Um, so this could have happened during Leo season. I have the Seven of Swords, so there was some kind of deception or lie. I have Aquarius, Venus, so some type of love matter that um, somebody felt weighed down in over a third-party heartbreak, right? Because we have the Three of Swords, which is Libra, Uranus again. Um, Four of Pentacles holding on. So I think this person was holding on to somebody else anyway. You may not have known that, um, but anyway... It, it looks like you were holding on to something else, too. That's weird because it's like everybody kind of had their own thing going on. But now um, you're kind of still holding on to this situation possi or they're holding on to it, possibly feeling like, you know, um, somebody was left out in the cold or whatever. So let's see. Let's clarify two of swords. Okay. All right. So the stability, I think your your overall stability had a lot to do with this. Um, it was kind of like either make the decision you made or kind of be, you know, stuck out. So some of you guys went back to a situation or chose to focus on something that was uh, more, more grounded and solid, maybe like an old partner or um, just chose to focus on your stability you know what i'm saying so that was like that's what you were conflicted about i think um or that's what you made a decision toward um it could also be an aries uh mars sun if any of that means anything to you that's ultimately what you chose um because that was more emotionally fulfilling for you so you took a leap of faith with something that may have been like more passionately driven um somebody that you may have had more history with and it happened it all happened real fast we have jupiter and sagittarius so these choices came about pretty cool pretty quickly um let's see what the black egg is about so there was a lot of changes um the four of swords putting something to rest okay so the truth came out that put something to rest and i have mercury libra um, so, like I said, a lot of this kind of sped up and took off Warm Prince's uh, strength. So, like I said, the pr this fling that you had kind of ended when the truth came out is what I'm feeling because the Leo card came out with it again and I'm sitting here shuffling these cards, but the Warm Princess and the Leo came out again. So, this passionate little fling that you had um, came to an end or it's coming to an end. You could have been dealing with the Leo or a fire sign. Um... But at some point, oh, okay, I see. Yeah. Okay, that makes sense. At some point, both of you um, had the idea that this was going to be like the perfect relationship, right? At some point. Um, but then it took a turn quickly. And I think because of, um, like I said, a previous connection, or it could have been a Capricorn. But it took off real fast. Um, and then I have here... With the devil card, what I always like to point out, it's like at the bottom, there's like two lovers bound. So that's why I said, I think, you know, you may have, or they went back to a past situation. Um, and then, so that led to you or the other person 
um, kind of leaving, going off to calmer waters. So maybe you had a lot of conflict or issues um, with this new person. I mean, as well as the old person, but I think maybe you were on a break from being with someone and met someone else. And like I said, you know, I, I, I see, I'm, I'm getting a lot of passion in these cards. I got the Three of Pentacles and the Moon card. So there may have been one person hidden from the other person. You could have been dealing with the Pisces, Capricorn. Um, like I said, Leo, Sad, just all of the signs are here, really. Um, but someone, someone that you, the truth was some someone that was hidden. And then I have Aries, so the person that was hidden could have been an Aries as well. Um, so you had an Aries and a Pisces. Um, in a, in a, like a third party situation and the truth came out. So, um, or that's, you know, that's what you're moving toward. Right. And then we have the seven of wands. You were defending or trying to defend, um, your position. So I think that's, that's selfish. So it looks like you or the other person, somebody was trying to defend themselves in the matter, like to both parties. It's kind of like, you know. Mm, like all, like all they cared about was themselves. So like all you cared about was yourself. Um, so yeah. And then you come out as the one king. So yeah, I think you met someone else. And then this, you are the other person is one king and queen. It's like the karmic couple, like your twin flame or something like that. And you guys were on a break or something. I don't know. And then it was just a bunch of conflict, chaos and lies. Um, and that's not nice, dear Virgo. But, I mean, regardless of who whose energy is what, um, it just seems like um, there was, yeah, there was a, there was a third-party situation. Um, and then here, you or your mate comes up again um, as the father of wands. And the unicorn came out. So, let's see. Oh, okay. Let's see here. All right, so I have the Nine of Cups uh, with the Unicorn, and then I have the Eight of Swords with the Father of Wands. So, like I said, this other person I feel like may have been a water sign um, and focused on emotional fulfillment, and then I feel like you may have been dealing with a fire sign um, that is a self-sabotaging situation that you felt stuck in. So it's kind of like emotional fulfillment or being stuck in the situation and that was oh, okay i didn't even realize i did that and that also is under the the two of swords so let's see here there was an offer from an investment so i i guess the you went for the, you're going for the stability right um because i have the seven of pentacles and the son of cups the Seven of Pentacles speaks to seeds uh, being planted, waiting, you know, sitting, twiddling your thumb, waiting on something to grow. And then I have the offer there. So uh, maybe you didn't see um, anything moving forward with one or the other of the person. Um, and then ironically now, though, um, you may have felt that that's a missed opportunity. So let's see how this person feels. How... How does your partner, whoever your partner is, right? How does your partner feel about this? Okay. So the flame that you had, and I say that because the son of wands comes up, which is like the page of wands. So maybe somebody you sent text messages to about passion or sex or you were sexting or like I said, this little encounter that you had, this person is healing emotionally, I guess, from the situation. And then let's get up oh, your overall energy. Um, I have here the truth, the daughter of pentacles, and the starfish. So, and then I have the five of swords. I just wanted to tell you what came out, but um, and then the sun card keeps wanting to come out. So, but um, I didn't even get my thought all the way out. They just kind of fell out. So I'm gonna do it again. So we'll get a clarifier on like the, like I said, the eight of swords. But we, I, I mean, I pretty much already know. That's just like um, 
whoever represents that fire energy there kind of feeling trapped or stuck in a situation. Um, and then the other person, like I said, went about their way to get emotional fulfillment. So now you, uh, dear Virgo, showing up in your own reading as the hermit, um, we got that star again. So yeah, like I said, I think, I think with the star that shows to Aquarius, right? And you are in contemplation of this because we had, yeah, we had the star here under the, like I said, the possible Taurus, Gemini, or Pisces um, that you were in conflict with. That that person is still on your mind or you're still on that person's mind. Watching them, you know. I see the Ace of Wands. So you may uh, still have a little fire in your belt, under your belt form. You know what I'm saying? Um, but you may see them, like I said, doing you're doing a little bit better or they're doing better than expected because whatever happened kind of shook shit up and i think it's them yeah because the cancer pisces scorpio um or what's not seen or either you're not showing it or they're not showing it that they that it feels like a missed opportunity um because we have the five of cups in reverse and then like i said the missed opportunity was the situation that was put to rest and it happened fast because we have the, yeah, see, I, I felt this when I was meditating. So we have the four of swords um, that shows an ending, right? And victory, but an ending to something, putting something to rest um, that came quickly. We have the chariot and then um, under the chariot, we have the the seven of swords. So this this relationship or spaceship or whatever it was ended swiftly because of some malicious energy or deception. And now somebody regrets it. So, let's see. Any outcome hiding some you or them are hiding the way you feel, but I mean it's it's pretty much over with or one of you wants to restart because I have the hyena and the death card. So the death card can speak to rebirth and transformation um or also endings or Scorpio. And then we have the hyena which is someone who uses humor to hide their pain can probably probably be petty um is an addict so if you have you know if you like sipping on the syrup or smoking um or have some type of addiction this, this could be you um basically put you put this situation to a rest or maybe they put it to rest because of some addictive behavior um but this this person is the father of wands because the father of wands is like you know, a charismatic, charming kind of person, whether you're a woman or a man, it's just the energy that I'm speaking of. And the hyena is kind of like the father of wands, but this is how it, he looks on the inside. So on the outside, it's like the life of the party, the pizzazz, the charm, the attraction. But inside, this person is like battling addictions, hiding how they feel, um, but, you know, are fun to be around because they have um, have somewhat of a sparkling personality. And I think maybe the person that you were dealing with um, may have been a bit pushy, but was spiritually, um, was you, you guys may have had a spiritual connection or like some, just a bond that grew really fast and came out of nowhere. Um, but the fact that you or the other person um, was in another situation, it kind of came to a head and not by choice. It I think when someone else caught wind of your happiness and tried to come back, you may have allowed that or vice versa for the other person. And that probably wasn't the best idea. And now somebody feels like there was a missed opportunity. So I hope a lesson was learned there. Uh, <laughs> Y'all have to keep me posted um, on, on how this uh, turned out individually for you guys. If you want individual readings, um, feel free to contact me. And we can we can um, we can see what's going on. But I do have uh, just want to say that the world card popped out, so um, that speaks to like a cycle. Um, and you could either complete the cycle or stay wrapped up in it. But you know it's your choice because, it, like I said, it looks like you went back to what you felt would be more stable, something that you're used to, maybe an old relationship, or maybe that's just what you're focusing on stability. Um, but the meanwhile the 
Prince of Swords, which is like the page comes out. So you're still watching this other person or they're watching you um, after declining an offer um, because the Four of Cups came out again and then you pop up once again because in this deck, the alien is the, um, the hermit. So you, you want to work it out and, or this is how the other person feels, wanted to, you know, want to work it out. Um, and I have the star, the hierophant and the star, the will of fortune. So you, you want to, you wanted to work it out or maybe it's just some divine timing, some, some divine intervention that's going to push you two back together. Um, so that you no longer feel like there was a missed opportunity. You may go for it again. Because the situation that you ran off to be in is kind of like now weighing you down, right? And you want to offer this person another cup. Or they want to offer you another cup. So y'all have to tell me how that goes. Let's get an advice card for my buggos. Let's see what we got for you guys. And I do offer weeklies, dailies, and monthlies. I go by the support. So if you guys, you know, view, share, like these videos, I'll keep them pumped out for you. And that's how I do it. I don't often just like do all the signs randomly. I go by, you know, who's on the page that needs the information because I upload frequently. So you guys are not speaking your truths or being truthful in some degree and don't get mad at me. Or you're not expressing yourself because you have the, sh the throat chakra in reverse, um, which govern self-expression communication so you may not be in communication with this person but i also have the crown chakra here so you guys may not be in communication but the situation is still being thought about um and so in meditation just know or just remember to focus on your crown chakra and then um especially your throat chakra so that you're communicating and not you know just going around lying and i'm not trying to be funny this is about growth and being honest here and nobody's here but you and me at this point you watching the video so then like you know i'm putting you on front street this is between me and you dear virgo individually and you know if you've had a problem with holding in the truth or expressing yourself um also y'all got a lot of sexual tension built up you know so also look into that chakra chakra working on that releasing fears um, or any type of past traumas with these karmic sexual relationships, these karmic ties and, you know, passionate flings and love affairs. Um, like I said, I didn't see a lot of money, but I will do um, a Virgo. If y'all, you know, give me some comments, some likes, shares, and subscriptions on this video, I'll do the Virgo uh, finance reading for um, today throughout the end of August. So, I send love and light your way. Thank you guys for spending time with me. If it resonates, please keep me posted in the comments on um, what's going on. And I will keep the videos coming. Namaste. Don't forget to hit the like button and the subscription box with the notification bell.